we can now bring 2D images to life in 3D with this new game changer from Meta. And that is because they just announced Sam 3D, the newest model from Meta that can turn any object or human in 3D based on a single 2D image. And that means we no longer need scanning, multiple angles, expensive setups. No, it can all be done from one simple image, which is pretty insane. And the best part, well, Meta is actually releasing this entire system as open source so anyone can use this. So sit back and let me explain you exactly what Sam 3D is, how you can use it and what it's probably meaning for the broader industry of design. Let's start with what actually is Sam3D. Well, Sam3D is the newest model from Meta that can turn objects and humans into 3D models based on a 2D image, which is pretty spectacular. The system consists of two specialized models, one for objects and one for people. While well, the 3D objects model is actually designed to reconstruct 3D shapes, textures and layouts of objects and scenes, it can take a single image and generate a full 3D mesh out of it, which is pretty accurate if you see it. Now the second model is 3D body, and that is specially designed for humans and human bodies. Now focus more on humans, it reconstructs 3D body shapes and poses from a single photo, even in various poses or partially hidden people. Now the best part is that they made it open source, so anyone who uses 3D models can actually play around with it. You can take an image and grab something out of it and turn it instantly into the 3D model and it works super fast. So let me show you exactly how you can do it and you don't even need any technical details or experience for it. We're going to use the test version that is freely available for everyone. So here we are on the website where they introduce Sam 3D and you can already see it here. We have a picture in the background and you can take some parts out of it. So that is the entire idea. If you scroll down, you can read more about the capabilities. So you see that object reconstruction, you can start from a still image and grab that building out of it. You can also do the same with poses here on the right. So you can get very complex poses and get some really nice models out of it. Scene reconstruction. So you can take a photo of something on the table and start to reconstruct and rearrange things, which is pretty promising. And then as well, the 3D perception of a big world. So we can really start to see all of the objects in a room and play around with that. Here we can see more information about the 3D or the two models that they have. So 3D objects and then 3D body, which focuses on the characters itself, but also those, yeah, the, the, the physical anatomy of the character. So if you work with 3D modeling of characters, this is going to be super important. So if you go all the way here, you can download the models, by the way. So if you want to play around with them, I'll show you exactly how that works later. Now, if you go to the top, there's this um, two bottoms. So you can choose to download the models or you can try the playground. And that's what we're going to do. So we're going to play around with the model. And for that, if you go to the playground, you see different options here. So create video cutouts, create image cutouts. Those were already available. Now the 3D ones are the ones that have been added. So we're going to click on, let's start 3D scenes. So the objects first. Now it gives you a few options here at the bottom. So let's take this coffee machine here, a picture of a coffee machine. And now what we do is we can click to edit a mask. So we can see add mask, and then we can click on an object. It gives you a few instructions. So add or subtract regions with additional clicks. So if we click on everything and then we can generate here in the bottom and add objects if we want. So now you see it's taken the coffee from the coffee can. Now, if I want this entire thing, I just click on the extra parts and you see how the selection, how that selected area will increase. I can do that with the borders as well. So I can really refine it. And if I want that weighing scale, I just click on that weighing scale and it will include that as well. Now, let me click generate 3D model and you see how it's now live generating that model on the right side of the screen. So here you see the loading. So it's creating that mesh of the design. And then in just a few seconds, it's real time. So I'm not speeding anything up. You can see that we have this 3D model and I'll just make sure to put it on full screen. So we can see how we can just rotate this model around. We can look inside from the back that wasn't even visible on the picture. And it's pretty incredible if you see it like that. You can also turn on the angles if you want to turn it to a specific angle, or you can always just recenter it in the scene if you want, and then just play around with that. So that is pretty spectacular already. So you can do that for multiple images. You can always go to home, create 3D scenes, and let's try something else here with that furniture. You can also upload your own pictures. That is perfectly possible. I'm just using the standard ones here. So let me just grab that sofa, for example. Let's see if we can grab the sofa. Let's grab the pillows and the blankets. 
Let's include those as well. So I'm just going to click on the items and I'm trying to refine the edges until you have the entire selection available. So let me try to do it as accurately as possible. And then we do generate 3D. Now we're generating live and then on the right side, you'll see that 3D model as well. And then here we have that sofa available that you can just spin around and just see how good it does with the back end with that pillows, with the blanket, with everything on the screen. So that is pretty amazing. Now let's have a look at the other models. So the people, which I think is the coolest one of them all. So let's go to create 3D bodies. And also here we can just choose or we can browse more images if we want. So let's take any of the images. Let me take this one here of that person, which has a pretty complex pose. And now we can just select the people. It already does a pretty good job at pre-selecting it for you. So you can then generate the people. And then here we have it on the right side. So let me just put that on full screen again. And you see how that body is perfectly reconstructed. I'll put it in the same angle. So this is the standard version, but then you can just rotate it around from different angles. You can have a look at the entire model, which is pretty impressive if you ask me. You can always just recenter it to go to the default position. Now here we also have the option to um, do the original view. So if you want the original view or the people reference view. So that sort of puts the model on top of the original image. So you can sort of see where the outlines are, how the clothes are reacting to that model and the picture itself. So it's pretty cool. Let's try that with something totally different. So let's maybe take group image here. So let's take these people and then try to get that model to work. And um, now it's searching for people. So it's sort of looking for the different elements that are available. And I'm just going to click one of the people here. And then we have that one already on the site. So you see how good that goes and how fast that generates the model, which is pretty impressive. You can also do that with your own images. That is perfectly possible. So this already looks pretty fantastic, especially how the bodies and the objects work and how you can rearrange them. Now, how does it actually work and how can we take it one step further if we want to actually use those models? So right now it's important to know that the Sam 3D website, the playground that we've played around with is only a preview version. So you can upload your images, you can sort of get the models and preview them, but there is no way to sort of extract it as it is from the website right now. Now for the more technical people who really want to run these Sam 3D models themselves, Meta has released the full code and model ways on GitHub and Hugging Face. So you can download both the Sam 3D objects and Sam 3D body models there, run the scripts and export them to reconstruct your 3Ds manually. But this of course requires a little bit more technicalities and being comfortable with running Pythons as well as working in 3D modeling software. But if you want to do that from your picture, it is open source. So it is available if you have that technical skill. But given how fast the community reacts and how things evolve, I think we will see a export or download 3D models soon so we can use it in our straight away in our design software or in our presentations where we want to use these models. So I hope you like this video. Definitely let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see something specific and I'll be happy to explain it to you. So thanks all for watching and don't forget to follow if you want to learn more about AI and how you can use it in your day to day life.